the most out of this simulation. Is this the first uh, time you are playing a lobster simulation? So, I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit right now. What we're gonna be doing in this video right now is my homework. <laughs> this is my homework. I'm legitimately assigned this game from my professor to learn about covalent and ionic bonds. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd record it. Uh, yeah, this is my first time. Thanks, I already know how this works. Um, yeah, I'm not a wimp. We have an intriguing case today. There is an alchemist who claims to have created a cure for any kind of headache. The old man has been producing a lot of suspicious substances. Would you like to visit him to find out what his medicine is? I have obtained a yeah, sample of the it. alchemist's medicine. Let's perform a chemical analysis to figure out what, what it is. What? Find the lockers and open one of them. Okay. Um, also, it's a drag kind of game. It's not move. Um, Find a lab coat inside the lockers and put it okay. on. Lab coat. Well done. Now find a glove box and click on it. Raise the lab pad put for on more information. Lab coat. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Another lab coat. Click okay. on the lab pad for more inform what information. What information will help you chemically analyze the two mysterious substances? Okay, so I'm gonna have to actually try this. They're produced out of full moon. Genius. Um, we know that both substances are solid. Click okay. on the door to enter the lab. This is strange. Go in the main room. Go to the analysis workbench. Okay, yeah, analysis workbench. It turns out the medicine from the alchemist consists of two different substances. I have prepared samples of both mysterious substances in the glass tubes in front of you. Okay. In addition, there is a test tube with KCL, which we will use as a positive control when measuring solubility and conductivity. KCL is highly conductive as well as soluble in water. Okay. Click on the tool you want to use for your analysis. So, to measure the conductivity, okay. So, is this water? Okay. I want to use, no. What the hell? How do I use it? Click on the tool you want to use for your analysis. I want to determine the weight of the substances. Oh. Raise your lab pad for more information. Okay. Place the weighing dish on the scale. Place the substance into the weighing dish. Observe the weight on the scale. What did I read? Okay. So, weighing dish. Is that this or. What the hell? Place a weighing dish on the scale. Okay. This is a weighing dish. Yep. What the hell? Go. Oh my lord. This is strange. It feels strange that I'm doing this right now. Can I... How do you just pick it up? It's kind of a shitty game, don't you think? Probably should make your game better. I'm... Is it because I'm holding a lab coat? Is that really why? Are you really going to tell me that this game has... Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, take the weighing dish, put it there, uh, what if you hit start? Put the substance into the weighing dish. The substance. Okay, well shit. So it wants me to take the substance? <sighs> what the hell? 
Okay, substance one. What do we put it back? Take a bit of it. Uh, okay. So this one has the substance in it. Then don't I want to take the substance? Um, Jesus, what the hell is this, right? What am I playing? Like, this is for my class. Interact All right, you have determined oh. the weight of one of the substances. Do you think this was a useful analysis? I doubt this. Wait, click on the tool you want to use for your analysis. Determine the solubility of the uh, substances in water. Raise your lab pad for more information. Repeat for the other chemicals. Yeah, water. Add water, observe. Oh, add water to the beaker, observe its solubility. So I take it, it wants me to... Okay, that's already got a substance. Substance 2. Oh, I just these all have the substance. Now that you mix the substances with water, the solutions look cloudy. Even in the case of KCl, which we know is soluble in water. What happens if we stir them a bit? Place the beaker onto the stirring plate. Start stirring and observe the solubility of the substances. The stirring plate. <laughs> This Put is the beaker back on the bench. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Have the beaker. Wow, the cloudy solution turned into a clear solution after mixing. Repeat for yeah, the other yeah, chemicals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is for my biology class, which is pretty much just chemistry, but biology is the subject. And this is one of the assignments she had for me, which I truly don't understand very well. Like, people other than me, non-gamers, are going to play this, and they're not going to know what to do. Because I was confused. Oh. Just what a strange time, Look, I feel like. all I'm three in. chemicals dissolved into a clear... All, which yeah, of the yeah. following is insoluble in water? Insoluble? Exactly. Wire, it yeah. takes a lot of energy to break the connections. Our control KCL uh. showed high solubility in water. What does KCL actually stand for? KC... I don't... Not Kenny's cleaning detergent. No, this is incorrect. Please try again. What? Oh! Oh my gosh, I was thinking of it as that. No, KCL. What's a CL? Is that chloride? That's right. Yeah. KCL is also called potassium. I can't, I Speaking of, of compounds, <laughs> the term compound refers to a distinct group of atoms held together by chemical bonds. There are three major types of chemical bonds covalent. Yeah, yeah, looking yeah. Looking at the periodic table, to which element classes do potassium and chlorine belong to? Click on the view image button to see a periodic table. Which element classes do potassium and chlorine? Um, see, that's chlorine, and that's potassium's over here somewhere. It's right over here, which I think this row counts as. Uh, what's it called again? Transition metals, I think is what no, it is. No, this is incorrect. No, transition metals is the other one. Um, no, this. No. <laughs> no, this. No, this is. Well done. When a metal is combined with one or more non-metals, the compound is usually ionic. Covalent compounds are formed by a combination of non-metals. In contrast, metallic compounds consist of metal. As you yeah, can yeah, tell yeah. from the name, ionic compounds are formed between charged part. In contrast to cation, cations and anions can have more. When a cation forms an ionic, what happens when ionic compounds <laughs> dissolve in water? I got this. When they dissolve in water, they, um... Ionic compounds dissolve in water, split up, or they... Ionic compounds, aren't those the ones that... Nah. No, this is... <laughs> uh... No, this... 
No, this is it. They attached to the no, walls of this the... is... No, this... Fantastic. I click on the conductivity tester. The tool you're tester. holding in your hand is a conductivity tester. You can use it to test, oh, measure okay. the conductivity of substance 1 and 2, and KCL in water. Put the conductivity tester back when- Which of the three chemicals are conductive in water? I didn't even get to see what it was. No, this- Well done. It, why can we measure electric conductivity in our experiment for KCL and substance 2? It's a potent drug, it's charged. Absolutely. Yeah. Once KCL is dissolved in water, we know that it dissociates into charged- What type of compound is substance 2? No. This no, okay. No. No. Sweet. Now we have Sweet. more evidence that substance 2 could be an ionic compound. Since covalent compounds don't dissociate into ions in water, they also don't conduct electricity in solution. Knowing about okay. the solubility and difference in conductivity of the two mysterious substances, which hypothesis would you formulate? Impressive. You managed to narrow down the substances into two chemical compound classes. Now we need to learn a bit more about these two classes before we can- If we talk about ions, it simply means that an atom has gained or lost What's electrons by transfer an... from or to other uh, atoms during the formation of an ionic- Right. An ion- negative, One can sure. predict the charge of an ion- For example, atoms if- What's the charge of the K ion? Click, Ooh. view image, to have a look at the periodic table. Uh, it's been so long since I took chemistry. Uh, exactly. Yeah. K is in group 1 and likes to give up one valence elect- How many electrons does a CL atom have? Click, view image, to have a look at the periodic oh, table. Oh man, it's been way too long. God, I can't remember. No, this is incorrect. It's time no. for this. Fantastic. 17. Those electrons are around. Feel free to ask me some questions if you would like to refresh your basic oh, chemistry. I could have known it was 17 at least because it was an odd number and it wants to pair with other things, so it, it had to be an odd number. Um. Let's continue. In order to come close to Adam's Nirvana, this is a single potassium atom and a single chlorine atom. Huh. Okay. Potassium has 19 electrons, with one electron in the valence. Chlorine has 17 electrons, 19 of which and 17. if both atoms are close to each. Yeah. Potassium, which readily gives up electrons, transfers a single electron in its outer sh both atoms now have eight electrons in their valence. Since yeah, potassium lost positive. one electron, it becomes positively charged. Mm -hmm. Chlorine has gained one electron and becomes negatively charged. The ionic bond is formed between potassium and chlorine by the electrostatic yeah. attraction between the opposite charges. How many valence electrons does an atom try to acquire? Fuck me. No, this is... Genius. That's an octet. That is right. Every atom's nirvana. Yeah, an octet. It wants to get to eight. Complete the following sentence. When K plus and Cl form an ionic bond. Potassium loses one electron. Chlorine gets another one. Um, no. This no, 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 no. Potassium gains and chlorine loses? No. Or, what's a better option? You got it. Oh, sure. Okay. Atoms can also form chemical bonds by sharing electrons equally between each other. Yeah, those are covalent this bonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both chlorine atoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're going to mix. And by sharing two electrons, each chlo shared electron. Mm hmm. Dot and establishes a strong. No, in summary, bonds. in ionic bonds, how many electrons are shared between two Cl2 atoms? Yay. Two. That's yeah. They both have one to give so that they. They share, and it makes two. Chemical bonding is all oh, about the attractions yeah. formed from Thank electrostatic you, forces or by sharing electrons. Chemists use a straightforward method to visualize valence shell electrons in a chemical bond, namely Lewis dot structure. According sure. to the Lewis structure concept, the formation of an... This also works for... What do the connecting lines stand for in the Lewis structure? 
the connecting lines. Oh, I used to know this. No, this. Uh. Fantastic. Electronic Drawing pair, a Lewis okay. dot structure for covalent compounds containing different elements can be a bit more tricky. However, there is a simple step-by-step -step process that you can follow to draw the Lewis structures. Check out the. Hmm. Click on the PC screen to watch the steps for carbon dioxide. PC screen right here. Step 1. Count all valence electrons of carbon dioxide. Let's start with carbon. How many valence electrons does C have? I don't fucking know. No, this- Um, isn't it 6? No, this- It's not 6. Good thinking. As you can see in the periodic table, Duh. carbon has six. What is the total number of valence electrons in carbon dioxide? Well, it's got four. No, this. No. Well done. 16, Step one sure. is complete. Carbon has four valence electrons and oxygen has six oxygen each. Oxygen has six. Click sure. on the PC screen to arrange. Click on the computer screen to link the atoms with a single bond. Click on the computer screen. Yeah, yeah, Great. Yeah, yeah. Now there is only one step left. Step 5. Ooh. Complete the central atoms octet by making multiple bonds with the terminal atoms. Check out how to complete the octet of the central carbon. Click on the computer screen. I'm well just done. clicking. I'm not These doing anything. These are the anything. five steps that you need to remember. 1. Count valence electrons. 2. Arrange atoms. 3. Mm. Connect with a single bond. 4. Add remaining electrons. 5. Complete the octets. This shit was easy when I was in high school. Why does the correct Lewis structure of carbon dioxide involve Looks a double like a bond fighter. between each of the oxygen atoms fighter, uh, and the carbon atom? You know, you know what the fuck I mean. Is it a TIE fighter? I can't remember. No, this is incorrect. I just didn't even read it and clicked. Holy Lewis. You're right. Holy it's Lewis. The number of bonds can be as My high God. as three. Here's another example. Build the Lewis structure for N2, okay, the okay. most common gas in our atmosphere. Steps mm -hmm. 1 to 4 have already been completed. All you need to do is step 5. Click on the... Which means click. That's it. Well done. You got yeah. this. Now it's your turn to draw. For each atom, check if the octet rule is fulfilled. If you need help, click on... Show hint to open the electron count window. Open the theory pages if you don't remember the five oh steps Lord. for drawing the Lewis structures. Draw the Lewis structure of CH4. CH4, okay. So, what was it? C had four, HL has one, and C wants to get to eight. So, they're all gonna, no. They're all gonna. Awesome. You get got their it. One. This yeah. is the structure of methane. It has four single bonds. Did you know that methane is a potent greenhouse gas and the main component of natural gas? Yeah, 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 yeah. Draw the Lewis structure of CO. Oxygen has six. Carbon has four. Um, but who wants to get the eight? I mean, oxygen can have two and give... Well, if it's got six, that's four, six. Carbon has four. Or is it the other way around? Carbon Click on the lab pad for more information. Okay, it's 10. Electronegative? Negative? Blech. Click on the gray box between the add a single bond. This counts, add six electrons to oxygen. So it wants to give it to oxygen? What the fuck? Only four valence electrons, two to form the bond, one pair that you just added. <laughs> Oxygen has eight? Oh, okay, that's what it's saying. What the fuck? I haven't 
haven't done this in so long. Okay, add six electrons to complete the octet, oxygen, and add the remaining two electrons to carbon. My carbon has only four of two on the bond and one pair is just added. Remove one more pair from the oxygen and add a double bond instead. Sweet. The C and O are connected oh. by a triple bond. CO is also known as carbon monoxide, that which is a sense. highly poisonous gas. It occurs as a result oh. of incomplete burning of fuels, such as coal, wood, oil, kerosene, and what natural I do with gas. Plants. Draw the Lewis structure of CH2O. H2O? Okay. <sighs> Fuck, what do they have? Okay. So it has 12. 4 from C. So maybe I could put it down to make it easier. C has 4. 6 from O. 6. Like Ben Shapiro. And 2 from... Okay, I, I knew that. So that's there too. They 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 pretty much have to do that. Um, now I need to give them all. Hmm. Right now, carbon is ten. Carbon wants eight. And I think these only want two, so that works. Carbon has four now. Excellent. There we this go. This is the structure of formaldehyde with one double and two single bonds. <sighs> so formaldehyde good. is toxic to all animals and a commonly used tissue fixative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw the Lewis structure of HCN. Okay. Um, let's see, ten. Four and C, five and N. So N has five, you have four, and you have one. So it's got six right here. That gives it eight. N still only has one. Mm. Click on the lab pad for more information. Oh, yeah. Get rid of the lone one, make a triple bond. It's got 12 now. That's correct. The C and N are yeah. connected by a triple bond. HCN is also called prussic acid and is an extremely poisonous liquid. Oh, <laughs> nice. Sick. You're becoming a real bonding expert. Yeah, Let's yeah. see if we can figure out more about the mysterious white substances that we got from the alk. Yeah, now that yeah, you know yeah. how to draw Lewis structures, let's go back to the two mysterious substances. I'm how about to trying to induce a phase change in our two mysterious substances? How could you change the current state of right? One, using a capillary system, we can precisely determine the melting point of a both substances. Do I think caffeine we is? have some caffeine here that you can use as a con no. No, not metallic. I don't want to click that. No. Covalent? Awesome. I have already filled a capillary with caffeine. Heat the samples. So let's see. That's substance one. Substance two. I get one more for the last one. Don't I? No? Okay. Um, use this machine to heat up and determine their melting point. Lots of caffeine powder. Substance one. Click on the lab pad for more information. Click on the heat button to stop the heating process. I believe we've got a virtual lab so we can fast forward time a bit. Uh, right. The heat button. Oh. 
Observe melting points of the three samples. Raise your lab pad for more information. Okay. Ooh. That one just didn't melt. <laughs> that he put in it because we're getting hot Click on the pad for more that's interesting as you can see on in the melting point apparatus software we could determine a melt i have collected a number of based on the okay. melting points of both substances in comparison with the table what's your guess click on the view image button if you want to have a look at the table um. again hmm no no this is incorrect go. no good guess yep. looking at the table which rule concerning melting behavior can you formulate and the compounds of a higher melting point no covalent compounds of a higher melting point no this what no nicely observed Indeed, ionic compounds, ionic compounds, compounds are more melting? difficult to melt than covalent compounds. Why? Because covalent compounds Why are Why are the strong? melting points of ionic compounds higher than covalent compounds? Um... Attract water makes them melt easy. Because the heat can flow. Fantastic. In an ionic solid such as huh. NaCl, the ions are arranged as a repeating array called a crystal lattice. Okay. Remember your hypothesis from the beginning? Does this confirm your con good thinking but it- Holy Magnus. In the meantime, we <laughs> got our mass Lewis. spectrometry results back for the two substances. It turned out that the two- It looks like the alchemist isn't really a healer but uh -huh. rather a smart salesman. I wouldn't be surprised if some people actually feel better after taking his medicine. Effect. But hey, you've learned so much to- Is that Your it? score has been saved together with your 100% oh. progress. Congratulations, you have completed- I gained relevant knowledge huh. by using the simulation. Yeah. I yeah, found the that. simulation motivating. I agree. I feel more confident about my lab skills after the simulation. I guess. I feel agree. that I can apply what I have learned in the simulation to real world. No. In general, I was pleased with. Yeah, Thank you for your cool. feedback. Please exit the lab by pressing escape. See you in another lab. Well, that's that. Isn't that trippy, huh?